advice if you want to travel just do it how's it going today jerry bears i'm jerry sky if you're new here don't forget to take a look around subscribe to my channel and guess who is here it's jermaine jermaine another day another dollar <laughs> I'll put a link to his channel down below or I'll link a video up there and today we're just gonna talk a little bit about you know living a life an intentional life like more intentional happier awesome life yeah, that's good. I'm all about that like every day is an awesome happy day Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jermaine travels around all over the world, mm -hmm. a lot over the U.S. Mm -hmm. on a skateboard and everything. <laughs> and like, how did you get started doing that? How long have you been doing that? Let's see. I started traveling like you know internationally what eight years ago, nine years ago. Yeah, about nine years ago because my passport's about to expire. <laughs> the first time I left the U.S., like I was really inspired because I was watching this YouTube video and it was um, bashing Americans for not traveling because um, like one out of four Americans have passports. Mm -hmm. So right after that, I got a passport, you know? But then after I got a passport, I had a problem. Like I couldn't find anyone to go with. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and then I just figured out I'm just gonna have to go alone. So that's how I started. But now it's like, I've been doing a lot of US travel this year and you know, honestly, like, I didn't really like U.S. travel that much <laughs> because, you know, it's the U.S., it can kind of be expensive, it's, it's the same country, like, but... You know, I find you've paid, like, the same amount of money, but, like, if you were in Europe, like, you could go to so many different countries, as opposed to here, you're just like, uh, just going to the other side. Yeah, this is true, this is true, and then, I don't know, when you go to Europe, like, there, it's a big cultural difference mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. in the US definitely there there's a cultural difference like the West Coast is a lot different from the East Coast yeah you know? but at the same time we still speak English and a lot of it's the same too though no a lot of it's it's very the same like it's it, yeah so you're right. it's, it's all the same. Like, I mean things are a little bit different you know the weather is a little bit different but for the but most I think part, like the difference like if you go from here to Paris you're like it's so different. It's so different. Like this, it smells different. Like the city smells different. Like mm -hmm. you know, going to New York and going to LA, like like it's the same country. We use the same gasoline. Like you, <laughs> you go to other countries and it smells different because, like, hmm. they use different diesels and they use different like buses. Use di buses have different emission laws and like you, you have you noticed that like going to other countries like it smells different like. I guess I didn't realize. I just, I mean, I knew it didn't smell like here. <laughs> yeah, well, I know it smells like really different because, you know, they, they cook food on the street in places like Thailand and you mm. smell the food and then, yeah. and then, gosh, in Thailand, the pollution's are a lot different. Like, yeah, know, that's you, very true. You see buses <laughs> just shooting out smoke, right? And it's just like a normal thing and that's what you breathe. And gosh, I remember the first time I went to Thailand, I, I took a shower and like I could see the black stuff, like, from the pollution from the buses, oh, like shit. I coming been off my skin, like That's into crazy. the water, and Whoa. I was like, "Wow, you know, life is different." Life is different. <laughs> life is different. But that's if you're like, you know, in the city. If you're like on the beach, you're not gonna have that problem because there's no, there's not the same pollution. On yeah, the beach. that's true. And what makes you keep doing it? It's addicting. Like it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's always an adventure. Like it's easy to get bored if I stay in one spot for a very long time. I find that too. Yeah. I definitely find that too. Really easy and then to one of the things that I, everybody, when I ask any of my people, of like, what do you guys want to do? Everybody always says travel. And I'm like, then just start. Like, anything is better than nothing. Gosh, so many people say that. They say they want to travel. And I'm like, when are you going to start? <laughs> yeah. It's just about start. start now. But it's all about buying stuff too for a lot of people. It's like, I can get a new car and I can get this and I can get that and I can just travel later. But no, you should actually travel first. Yes, because <laughs> you might first. not want to live where you think you want to live. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you could go discover some other place, and you like it so much better than what you've been around your whole life. You know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm just like the food in other countries is just so different. It just tastes different. Like same stuff tastes different. Yeah, like because it's just different standards in different countries. Like. In the U.S., like, there's so many, like, chemicals and there's so <laughs> many weird things in food. And then you go to another country and you can have the same thing from, like, the same restaurant. And it's completely different. Like, it's fresher. It's, it, you know, the veggies are better. The, whatever you're eating is probably going to be a little bit better or or not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, what's, what's, like, the 
best thing that's happened to you because of like going around traveling or like the best experience or something? One of the best experiences, I would have to say learning that you can get by on less. Okay, I'll give you an example. So the first time I left the country, I just went to Paris, no big deal. But then this, this, well, the first time I left the country, I went to Paris, no big deal. <laughs> but the second time I left the country, I went to Thailand. And like I was there for like, you know, a couple of weeks. And then I, once in a while, I got back to my house. You know, because I had been living in living out of a backpack for a couple of weeks. Once I got, got, got back to my house, I was like, dude, I don't need any of this stuff. You know, it, it, it just hit me because, I mean, I've been living for the past couple of weeks out of a backpack. Like, yeah. it's totally fine then. Like, I come back and do I really need all this stuff? Or is it just around? You know, and but I didn't just go and just take everything and throw it throw it away, you know. But over time, I just like got rid of stuff and just used less and less stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, buy less things. I mean, do you really need to buy a new pair of shoes like, all the time? Or can't you just you know, wear shoes out <laughs> and then and then buy a pair, you know? Or, yeah. or buy a pair of jeans when your old pair of jeans rip, you know, instead of. It's Friday, and I'm going to this concert this weekend, and I gotta have this outfit to wear. Like, why? You don't you don't need a special outfit to wear to a concert. True. <laughs> no, the, the the person on stage is not gonna see you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Cool. Any other advice you'd like to give? Advice? If you want to travel, just do it. Because if you're waiting on friends, or if you're waiting on you know, travel, like, if you're looking for travel buddies, it might take more time versus if you just, you know, research and just go on your own. I would mm -hmm. say just, just go on your own. And, and if you do go on your own, you're going to have a different experience. Um, you might cry. You might cry. You might, that, guys. <laughs> you, you might cry, but you might, I would say you're going to have a, you're just gonna have a different experience because when you go with people like if you you have to sacrifice if they want to go to the zoo and you don't want to go to the zoo like yeah. <laughs> was a, that was a bad example but you know like, like I'm vegan I don't go to zoos I don't want to go to the zoo but like if, you, if they want to go to the beach for like four days in a row and you don't like you have to deal with that but when you go by yourself you don't have that problem at all because you just don't go to the beach or mm -hmm. you do something else or and it's really easy to meet people when you're traveling alone. A lot of people... That is true. I think it's much harder if you're with somebody. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Because you kind of just click together and then you're like... Duh, 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 duh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you, when, you, when you just go alone, it's super easy to meet people. And you will meet people. You, you will. Like, you, you will. A lot of people think that, Oh, I, I don't want to go. I don't want to be lonely. And believe me, you won't be lonely. Right? <laughs> There's tons of people that travel alone. And... Just go do it, like, yeah. live that adventure, live your life. <laughs> and you might even find you're like, it's kind of nice being alone more of the time. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you might even like it. Like, <laughs> you need time to, you, you have a lot of time to think, you know, when you're alone too. Mm -hmm. A lot of processing. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, well, thank you so much. Oh my God. Oh my God. And hopefully you guys got something awesome out of there. If you did, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to go over and check out Jermaine's channel. Mm -hmm. He also does daily videos, so... Go check it out because he does all kinds of stuff and he's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, check it out. And uh, he also rides his boosted board everywhere, so yeah. if you like skateboards, yeah. follow him. And I guess that's about it, guys. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff. You know where to find the information. I'm Jared Sky. Sky's the limit. Jermaine, another day, another dollar. <laughs> Woo! So right now I'm over here with Jura Scott. Hey,